And so, Lord, bless our friends here on this special night as we honor them. Bless them for the sacrifices they make to help others. Give them great joy and blessings in their life. And we ask you to bless the work of the Padre Pia Foundation that this great saint who loved Jesus so much, who loved the church so much, despite suffering, despite his hardships, who loved our Blessed Mother so much, that he may help our country and help our world to bring more and more people back to that same love for Jesus and to bring more of, the, of love and kindness and compassion and mercy back to our families and back to our society. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Padre Pio does not belong just to our beloved Catholic Church. His example, his teaching, and his mission are as relevant today as they were when they first initiated them, perhaps even more so. The world urges to hear his message and to see his example. So that is our mission, which we share with you. I must say that I am touched and extremely honored to honor today Scott Lanette Robert Davinci and Signor Drago. We could have not thought in the best way to do a first and pure award ceremony in recognizing the champions in bringing the legacy of Padre Pio in the Archives of Los Angeles and far beyond. But the real reason is I adore this couple. Number one, we met 13 years ago at the Thomas Aquinas Gala, and from then on, we've been mumping into one another all over the place, and it's been nonstop. Number one, I bump into Scott, over here at a church in Houston. I run into Lynette. I don't know what she's doing, but I'm running into her. And it's just one thing after another. And we've been united in our love of Padre Pio, but the church and the generosity that is needed to be given to this wonderful cause of, of Padre Pio. And I, I really want the two of them to come up here right now. Yes, right now. And accept this award. Foundation for this honor. Uh, it has been great to be associated with the St. Pio Foundation for a few years now, shortly after its inception. We'd also like to thank all of you for coming. I do think it's important if we share a little bit about why the St. Pio Foundation is important to us. And I know we did a little video and I think it's been posted and some of you may have seen it. And so, Luciano, I think that probably the greatest work that I've seen in the last year is the exposure to literally hundreds of thousands of people to the relics of Padre Pio, which I think is bringing devotees of Padre Pio into the church, but also people that have an interest of curiosity or their friends. So please continue that work. I think it's vitally important. I hope more dioceses and archdioceses welcome you, not only in the United States, but, but throughout North America. So great work that you're doing. Uh, I think just in concluding, it's been, as I say, a great honor to be associated with the St. Pio Foundation. To get to know Luciano over the last uh, three years, uh, he accompanied us on that trip to San Giovanni Rotundo. If you've never traveled with Luciano, it's a whole story unto itself. <laughs> Maybe over uh, dinner or something, you can, you can learn about that. Uh, but do, as I say, my, the final message is really do deepen your love and understanding of Padre Pio. I think he's vitally important in this time. And I think he can be part of what heals uh, a very broken world. Thank you very much. We are here to award a meritorious entertainer, an artist whose career spans more than 130 movies that includes writing and directing and over 240 television performances. And as he is never quite through, the latter-day emergence of a singing career 
abandoned early on to focus on acting. I can also tell you that this honor <coughs> means more to him than any from Hollywood. Because as much fun as it's been, Hollywood never saved his life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I present this Ambassador's Award of St. Padre Pio to my best friend, Robert Duffy. Here we go, Joey Lamagino would go to Italy. He went to San Giovanni Rotonda in Foggia, Italy. This happened in 1967. And he would see Padre Pio and have confession. So, and here we are tonight, talking about Padre Pio that started for me at, at rosaries and then at what I believe was a curing for him. So the power of prayer, the intercession of Padre Pio, I said to Luciano, who started this wonderful St. Pio Foundation, another maestro, another artist, another singer, uh, who, like Benjamino Gigli, who was, had a big devotion to Padre Pio. He came to me several years ago and he said, I, I heard about your devotion to Padre Pio, and I'd like you to be an ambassador to the St. Pio Foundation. And of course, there was no way that I was going to say no. He's persistent, he's tenacious, and he's taken us around the world. I did go to San Giovanni Rotonda in Foggia, Italy, for the first time and to Petruccino, where Padre Pio was born. God bless all of you. I want to thank Luciano, all of you for coming. Uh, pray, blessings, and uh, keep spreading the word. And God bless you. Thank you, Luciano. But his real passion is these many nonprofits and to help people. And, um, and some of the nonprofits are the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, the Kidney Foundation, the Gary Sinise Foundation, and um, the California, uh, the California Hospital, as well. In fact, the reason why he had come a little bit later to this event is because he was attending the annual fundraiser of the California Hospital. He had that commitment, and he kept the commitment, and this speaks volumes about him in order to, he's committed to it, to bring, bring relief from suffering to those in need. Uh, I consider him my friend and to uh, present him with this award. Foundation for recognizing me for this prestigious award. All I do and I have done, you know, in my life has been inspired by others. And so I was extremely touched and honored when I was asked to receive the St. Pio Awards tonight. It goes without saying that receiving an award of this kind in the name of such important saint in the Catholic Catholic Church, you know, makes me feel very, uh, very humble and worthy. My entire family has been a great devotee to Padre Pio, especially my mom, that was before. I can recall many moments when she prayed to him and asked for his blessing upon our family. I would like to thank all of you, you know, for coming here today and to celebrate the legacy of Padre Pio. And I would also like to congratulate Scott and Lynette, congratulations, and my old friends, Robert. You know, undoubtedly, the St. Pio Foundation has become a premier organization in fostering devotion 
of Father Vio in this country. And I hope that you will elect and will continue to support this inspired foundation.